Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today I wanted to talk to you about kudzu. I know it's a plant that takes over. A lot of people has tried to eradicate it and good luck with you on that. Um, but it, it grows over when it gets established somewhere, it just spreads. The good thing about this plant is almost the whole plant is edible. Uh, and it's not bad either. Number one, it's similar to like green briar is in the fact that these young tender shoots are what you would want to just pick and eat if you were going to just grab it and eat it. So, and have a similar taste. Now they are somewhat hairy. Um, so little young, small leaves like that on there would be one of the things you would want to eat. This right here is part of the root. Had I really known how difficult the root was to dig up to get a substantial piece, I would have brought a shovel. You better have something to dig with if you're gonna dig it up. Uh, I have never tried to dig up a root by hand. I have picked it and it has a bloom on it that is, smells a lot like bubble gum to me. Now, none of this is blooming. I don't think this is the time of year yet for it to bloom. But anyway, kudzu, it is. And we're going to take our information out of the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, y'all. So far in my research, this is a pretty good book. Uh, and and you can, if you can tell, that's a picture of one of the blossoms. They're a purplish-looking color. But it is... Puraria Montana Labato, Labata, I guess. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't good with, with long words. That's a short one, but I don't pronounce words real good. I done got my book dirty out here. I laid it down. Uh, but however, this plant has a lot of medicinal value as well. So not only is it edible and you can get the roots up and eat it and all this, it has a lot of medicinal values and some pretty interesting medicinal values I want to add. Uh, the edible use I'm going to read about first just because it's listed first in this book. Um, it says the leaves, vine tips, flowers, and roots are all edible. The vine stems are not. The roots contain starch and can be roasted and eaten like potatoes or dried and powdered to make a starch much like cornstarch. The flowers make a delici delicious jelly. Um, but if you were going to cook these leaves and all this, you would put them in a pot, you would cook them down, you would eat them somewhat like greens. Um, but now the medicinal uses is what's interesting about this plant. Kudzu root is easily dried and powdered, and is, and that is the part used for medicine. It says estrogen-like effects. Kudzu root has estrogen-like effects. And that are beneficial for premenopausal and postmenopausal women. It alleviates the symptoms of menopause, including headaches, hot flashes, and irregular bleeding, heart problems, cardiovascular system. Kudzu root decoction is useful for the increasing blood flow in the body, expanding the arteries and vessels. It increases oxygen supply to the brain and the body. It lowers blood pressure reduces chances of clotting and strokes and is also a potent weapon against myocardial ischemia. So that being said, if you don't need your blood flow altered, you need to be careful with this plant. Uh, because, you know, if you already have low blood pressure, perhaps, you wouldn't want to take this. Relieves digestive spasms. Kudzu root soothes digestive spasm, helps treat digestive cramping, Crohn's disease, and irritable bowel syndrome. Works for both acute and chronic conditions. Uh, I did read the other research I was doing in some other books about it helping with uh, diarrhea and, and a couple other stomach issues. Measles. Kudzu reduces the infection rate and shortens cases of measles. It also works as a preventative for family members who take kudzu root get well faster than those who do not. 
diabetes. Kudzu root taken three times daily helps stabilize blood sugar levels and improves glucose metabolism. Now see, when I was researching all this, I had no idea that kudzu, uh, the root, now you would take that root and boil it and, and get the decoction out of it, helps with blood sugar. So I was looking for stinging nettle to do this and we don't really have stinging nettle right here on my property or in this area. It grows in this part of the country, I just have not found it. Alcoholism, now this is one of the number one things with kudzu. They use it to help people that are battling with alcoholism. Kudzu consumption decreases an individual's desire for alcohol. So if you struggle with alcohol, you may want to take the root and boil it and drink the root tea from kudzu to help you not want to drink alcohol so much. Significantly curbs alcohol consumption and may work well for treating people who binge drink or who alcoholics. All right, so the recipes, 60 grams of dried kudzu root chopped up with three cups of water. Combine the water and the kudzu root, bring it to a boil, lower the heat and simmer for 15 minutes. Turn off the heat, cover tightly, let kudzu steep for another 30 minutes. The decoction will be thick. Take one third cup of the decoction three times a day. Store the remaining decoction in the refrigerator for up to three days. So y'all, that is out of the lost book of herbal remedies. If you struggle with alcoholism, this would be a good plant to take the root, boil your decoction and drink it. Uh, help level your blood sugar. So this plant can do a couple of things for you. Now, if you hungry, survival situation, there is an abundance of this plant in most of the southeast. Uh, now, I am not familiar with it, gr its growth across other parts of the United States, but here in the southeast, this is an extremely invasive plant. If it's growing on somebody else's property and not yours, I promise you they're not going to have a problem with you digging up all of it you want. <laughs> I can assure you that. So this is right here close to my property. I don't actually have it on my property, but this is adjacent to my property. And it it's pretty well stayed in this one area, but it is slowly spreading and getting further and further and further. Uh, and you see it choking out a lot of this. This is mountain mint right here. Very strong, but it is literally choking it out. Uh, this back here, I think is uh, cone flowers. And it's, you know, weeding them. There was a lot of them in here last year. So, uh, and I do see some beauty bush growing, but this is slowly choking all that stuff out and, and bringing it down. So as I studied on this plant, was reading about it, I thought, well, this could definitely help some of you. Uh, and I'm slacking on my medicinal plants. So I wanted to cover this one today. So I hope maybe you learned something that helped you. So thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors and we'll see y'all next time. Remember the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. And we'll see y'all.